Hello, everybody. It's the coach. This is Madden 20 on EA Sports. Straight ahead, we've got what should be a good one between the Miami Dolphins and the Buffalo Bills. With that, let's get up to Buffalo. Standing by at New Era Field, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Autumn has come to upstate New York, and we find ourselves at New Era Field in Orchard Park. A few moments ago, to the delight of this Buffalo crowd, it was the Bills racing out of the tunnel as they get set to match up with the Miami Dolphins. Hello, everybody, with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, you take a look at the Bills entering play here. They come in with some fresh legs as they got the week off last week thanks to the early season bye. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Ready, ready. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. Defensively here, you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL. So when they're that high power, you've got to find a way to hold them under 20. Because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points score gives yourself your, you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. And I think so because then you turn it into a shootout, and that means your offense has to keep pace. And Stills bringing it in. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. Go. A good pick up there, a 22. They'll look to throw now on first down. It's complete, Stills. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. That's good for 28 yards. They'll drop the throw. And this is caught by Parker for a Miami touchdown. Devontae Parker, his 19th touchdown now on the season. And the Dolphins take it right down and score on the opening drive. I'll let you do the analysis, partner, but with every touchdown pass, this young quarterback throws him with the six. And we drop you into the start of this next possession. The score, 7-0. Watch the run, watch the run. <laughs> They'll come out throwing here on first down. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Second and ten. And this is Parker complete. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. Back to throw now on first down. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. Two chunk plays in a row. The last one was over 20 yards, and so is this one. And the throw here caught by Devontae Parker. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Devontae Parker with touchdown. We drop you in now to first quarter action as the offense begins this drive. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And that is incomplete. Showed off the arm strength there, but to no avail. Second down. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. He'll look to throw. Let's go ahead and detail this situation here. Third and long coming up. Back near your own goal line. I would be very hesitant about throwing the football in this situation. Maybe just run, run up the middle. Yeah, I think that that might be the spot for them. you got to try and find some space for your punter because you don't want him backed up where he has to alter what he does. Now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. 
Even without a ton of pressure in his face, it just shows how difficult it is to pick apart his own defense. Those guys are sitting back, and they're not playing the receivers as much as they're playing the eyes of the quarterback and when he delivers the ball. They'll try and throw for it here. He's going to air one out. He's got a man complete. Fourth down conversion plays, you usually think one, two, three yards, maybe ten. Not there. What a huge pickup as the sticks make a drastic shift forward. So on fourth down, a big time completion. The defense, they've got to be shaking their heads right now. Not only shaking their heads, but understand that they committed one of those cardinal sins that they say they can't do at any time. They committed an eye violation, had their eyes in one place, and allowed the deep ball behind them. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. It's a gain of nine yards. And that'll make it third and one. They look to throw. And Stills has got it. Touchdown, Miami. Kenny Stills. Touchdown number five. The offense set to take the field here as they have the football in the final minute of this first quarter. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Going deep here for Stills. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. They'll set up a throw. He's going to look deep down the field. And that'll be incomplete. Good protection that time, and they couldn't hook up on the long one. Now it's third down. He's a little trigger happy right there, and it turned into an ill-advised throw into their zone. Well, we know he has confidence. He'll throw at any place, any time, anywhere. That time it fell incomplete. He's going to launch this thing way downfield. And that's caught inside the 30. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Kenny Stills, his second TD of the game and 16th on the season. And the Dolphins are able to extend that advantage. Now following the touchdown, here comes this offense back out onto the field as they will take over with a first and 10. He'll drop to throw. It's complete to Drake. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. Second and two. And this one caught by Cameron Bray. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside. Twenty-five. Well, you don't have to be a genius to watch this game and figure out they've had plenty of success moving the football here in the first half. We've seen exhibits A, B, C, and right on down the line, haven't we? Yeah, we just saw exhibit Z right there. 
It's caught Stills right side. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. And between the last two plays, they've moved it over half the length of the football field. This offense can certainly move quickly when they want to. Three plays, three pass completions, and the blink. And this is caught by Parker for a Miami touchdown. Devontae Parker. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. On first down, he'll drop to throw. And break, the tight end's got it. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Give them 32 on the play. They'll set up to throw. Wilson's got it complete. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Back-to-back -back plays of right around 30 yards, and the field position has totally been flipped. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. And they'll go backwards here, losing yardage to the 14. Now that sends them two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. The short field shrinks even more with the type of bodies they brought in on that play. Those extra tight ends, they weren't able to secure their blocks, and that one ended up going backwards. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. And they'll rally and stop him short of the first down at about the six. Nine yards on the carry there, but it'll be fourth down now. They'll run. It's Drake. This drive is... And he's going to ball his way into the end zone for the Dolphins score. Kenyon Drake, his 17th touchdown now on the season as his guys continue to pour it on. And on his way to the end zone, shedding the tackle, he would not be denied. That's what's called finishing... So the football will be at the 25-yard line as Down. this offense gets Ten set Lobo. to take over. Oh, yeah. oh, get it. Get it. They'll start the drive with Drake. Space to maneuver at the 40. And finally brought down right at the midfield stripe. It'll go as a gain of 25 on a play that started back at the 25. Now on first down, Drake again. Pushing him away. Popped it right out there. And shutting him off. Now open field. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Kenyon Drake. His... So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Drake will start the drive on the ground. He'll have a first down past the 40. And he's got daylight. It's a foot race. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Dolphins touchdown. Kenyon Drake on his way to a monster game. Three first half touchdowns as his guys continue to put this one out of reach. Not a whole lot to recap on that drive. Just one play, 75 yards to the house. Yeah, it's a long way to go. And remember, rarely is it a straight line 75 yards, too. Got to have a little extra in there. So whatever the final number is, a well-deserved seat on the... So this offense will head back out there already in excellent field position thanks to the interception. On first down, Drake sheds off the tackle. And he will take it in for a Dolphins touchdown. Kenyon Drake, 
with touchdown of it. Both offenses have been clicking in this one. A lot of points on the board. We'll see if that trend continues. Ten two stop. We want this. They'll look to throw here on first down. And he finds Parker here, complete. It's a big play there for Miami. 51 yards. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. They'll look to throw here. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Different story this time around. We had that huge gain, followed by a sizable loss here. Got to give him points for the attempt, but there's just a wave of pressure there. A host of people in the And this is caught by Parker for a Miami touchdown. So now this offense will take over, and they will have the football at their own 20-yard line. Let's go. 18, Gator. Mike, 58, right there. Come on, D. Fire. They'll look to throw. Oh, he's able to outmuscle him here as he pulls it in. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 18 big yards on that one, and a Miami first. From all the way up at the 38 now after a good start to the drive. Now back to throw. And this is caught. It's Parker. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. 25 yards there on the catch and run. Back to throw here. It's complete. Stills. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Dolphins touchdown. Kenny Stills. So now this offense will take over and they will have the football at their own 20-yard line. Ready, ready. On first down. It's Drake. And not a lot of daylight, not really any daylight inside as he's going to be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Brings up second down. Running, it's Drake. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Charles, you said earlier this defense is probably going to need to hold these guys right around 20 or under that if they were going to have a chance. It was evident pretty early on that wasn't going to happen. Yeah, they left 20 behind a long time ago in this game, didn't they? It looks like they're headed towards a big, big number. But 20 was the threshold because that kept them in the ball game and kept the pressure off of their own offense. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Counter play, Drake. And after getting tackled, he's still down and looking very slow to get up. We'll check on his status when we return to Orchard Park. Now the former fourth-round pick, it's Cannon Balazs. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. A gain of two there on the heels of a one-yard pickup on first. Bottom line, they want to keep this clock rolling, so they'll take that one right there. They just want to keep falling forward, and they want to put the onus on the big fellas up front in order to bring this one home. Let's go one more. Two. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And that is incomplete. It is tough to complete pass against zone defenses. The windows that you see open, they shrink pretty rapidly. How about being able to hit a moving target against the zone before the next guy can get there and make a play on the ball? Not easy for any quarterback, no matter the situation. And there, the defense won the battle. And this is right down the middle as he puts it through. And they're sitting pretty now as the lead grows even further. So it's three more points, and that widens this thing out even further here in the fourth. And you know in this league, you can never have enough points, but this widens it out, as you said.
So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. The drive will commence with a run by Balazs. He finds an opening past the 40. Through an opening, and there he goes. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Dolphins touchdown. Kalen Balazs, his third touchdown now on the year as his guys continue to pour it on. Well, this game is definitely over, but we do know some people. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. They'll start with a give here to Balazs. Space to maneuver at the 40. And brought down across the 50 to the 49-yard line. A big hitter there. A first down gain of 26 yards. They just look like they're having fun out there. Big lead. There's another big play on the big run. I mean, they can't be stopped. I'm a little bit older than you, as you well know, partner, and you tend to tell me that all the time. But uh, it used to be a big-time song, and the lyric was, summertime and the living is easy. Right now it's football time, and the running is easy for this crew. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. They'll run here with Belage. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. 18 big yards on that one. And a Miami first. Belage. And some room to maneuver. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. A 10-yard pickup. And it's enough for a Dolphins first down. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And Stills bringing it in. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. We'll check on his status when we return to Orchard Park. So second in inches after that first down completion went just shy of the marker. His pass caught at the four. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. They'll drop the throw. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Well, that was point-counterpoint, wasn't it? They decided to throw for it on first and goal. Instead, the defense counters with pressure, and the defense wins, getting a big sack. The kick by Sanders is good, and they're well on their way now. Both offenses have been clicking in this one. A lot of points on the board. We'll see if that trend continues. On the set. They'll come out throwing here on first down. He's going to fire one deep, middle of the field. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. Pass the 20. And he will take it in for a Dolphins touchdown. Kenny Stills, 77 yards. As his guys continue to put this one out of reach. A big offensive explosion help leading them to victory. And the defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points. Allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow. So for the Dolphins, they remain as hot as anyone. 6-0 now through the first month and a half. And they'll get another road date next week as their opponents will be the Pittsburgh Steelers. Meanwhile, for the Bills, the loss here will move them back to 500 at 3-3. Three and three. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week. I'm Brandon Gordon. Certainly have to thank Charles Davis, my broadcast partner, and our... Yeah.
dash, got it on smash, foot on the gas, I will not crash, they will not stop me, tempo, copy, hands on, watch me, celebrate, I'm cocky, I do my dance, jump in the stands, no man a man, oh devil with the hands, thought it could guard me, I ruin they plans, I do what I want, they do what they can, got it on smash, foot on the gas, I will not crash, honey y'all, dash, 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 yeah. They can't catch up cause they lacking the stamina Way too advanced to be playing with amateurs Stay on attack when they tackle like damager They react and play it back on the camera Hot boy, just consider me flammable Sure shot, I got all the intangibles Need a leash, I'm a beast, I'm an animal Heat the competition up like a Hannibal Know the game like I wrote up the manual I do weekly what you do on the annual MVP, that decision unanimous Hit dials, I don't think they can handle it Battlefield, it's just me and my warriors Guaranteed we emerge victorious Tears, black, wet, tears, is glorious I remember when they all was adoring us Dash, dash, got it on Smash, foot on the gas I will not Crash, they will not stop me. Tempo, copy, hands on, watch me, celebrate. I'm cocky, I do my dance. Jump in the stands, no man, no man. Oh, dead with the hands, thought it could guard me. I ruin they plans, I do what I want, they do what they can. Got it on, smash, put in the gas, I will not crash. Honey, y'all, dash, honey, y'all, dash, honey, y'all, dash, honey, y'all, dash. Start your week by installing your game plan. I need a ring and a trophy. I say I'm the best because I am. It's no need in keeping it low key. I can cover the D like a turkey. I run straight through the D like a train. This year we ain't taking no losses. It's all about making the game. I hear a lot of trash talk. You tell us I'm making a name. I put on the jets. The coach regret even letting them stay in the game. See my route took a tumble. Next time be humble. I'm the lion in the jungle. You just trying not to fumble. Rumble, young man, rumble. Never slip nor stumble. I take off poof, magic. Now watch me juke through the traffic. Footwork fantastic, dominating every facet. Treat the pocket like plastic. Pick on the blitz, pass it. Got it on, smash, put on the gas. I will not crash. Honey, y'all, dash, honey, y'all, dash, honey, y'all, dash, honey, y'all, dash, honey, y'all, dash. On my grind now, game on, took a loss, but I stay strong. Super Bowl rings, I just wanna play off. Gotta go hard, I can never play soft. Giant in New York, I run it back like Saquon. And I gotta win no matter what, like fourth down, hell Mary, no punch. Like every time I touch down, I gotta stun. Randy Moss, yeah, my numbers going up. All these trophies, what do I need anymore for? Check the stats up, you can check the scoreboard. Check the stats, Jay Critch, I'm the QB. Ran it up and then I went and got a new freeze. How fit to be the boss? Let me find out. My team bowling, you look like you need a timeout. I'm a star in the clutch, I'ma shine out. Working hard, yeah, I'm back on my grind now. Game on, took a loss, but I stay strong. Super Bowl rings, I just wanna play off. Gotta go hard, I can never play soft. Giant in New York, I run it back like Saquon. How fit to be the boss? Let me find out. My team bowling, you look like you need a timeout. I'm a star in the clutch, I'ma shine out. Working hard, yeah, I'm back on my grind now. Game on. Took a loss, but I stay strong. Super Bowl rings, I just wanna play off. Gotta go hard, I can never play soft. Giant in New York, I run it back like Saquon. If you ain't a winner, then don't come round. On my way to another city, it's a touchdown. Under late, yeah, I gotta get it in a rush now. Let them hate, try to knock me down, but we got up now. You say that you bowling, keep it real though. Hey, why I never saw you in the field though? Hey, I make it look easy, it's a field goal. I've been grinding for a minute and I'm still going. How fit to be the boss? Let me find out. My team bowling, you look like you need a timeout. I'm a star in the clutch, I'ma shine out. Working hard, yeah, I'm back on my grind now. Game on, took a loss, but I stay strong. Super Bowl rings, I just wanna play off. Gotta go hard, I can never play soft. Giant in New York, I run it back like Saquon. How fit to be the boss? Let me find out. My team bowling, you look like you need a timeout. I'm a star in the clutch, I'ma shine out. Working hard, yeah, I'm back on my grind now. Game on, took a loss, but I stay strong. Super Bowl rings, I just wanna play off. Gotta go hard, I can never play soft. Giant in New York, I run it back like Saquon.
it feel like yeah all day like yeah all night like yeah whole squad Hey everybody it's the coach and this is Monday night football on EA Sports Straight ahead we've got what should be a good one between the Miami Dolphins and the Pittsburgh Steelers I'll be back at halftime to look at some of these stats and scores from Sunday's action. But for now, it's Monday Night Football. And to call the action, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the steel capital of the world, Pittsburgh, PA, and Heinz Field. This was the scene just a few moments ago as the Pittsburgh faithful were fired up by the hometown Steelers taking the field. They're all set as they'll match up with the Miami Dolphins. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, we look at this Steeler ball club entering play. They come in playing pretty good football. Winners of four of their last six games. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the Dolphins, They've got all W's on the ledger so far. A perfect 6-0. Yeah, still a long way to go in this season, but they're showing everyone early on that they intend to be there in the end. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Got a man open. That's Devontae Parker complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A really good pickup of 28 yards. Looking to throw. And he hits his target. It's Kenny Stills. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a Dolphin first down. He's locked in early. Two nice first down completions to start. I like the fact that he's seeing the whole field early. Spreading it around a little bit in the early going. And the throw here caught by Devontae Parker. Can tip. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Dolphins touchdown. Devontae Parker with touchdown number 23. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Here we go. 15 run. 15 run. Right. Right They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. He's going to fire one deep over the middle. And it's knocked away and incomplete. He was trying to get that one to Kenny Stills. And that'll bring up second down. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Second and 10. Oh, a scrap for the football, and he's going to come down with it. 23 yards the pick up there. Now on first down, he'll drop the throw it, and that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. So the contact came before the ball got there, and the flag is thrown. 
Timing is everything, isn't it? And it's so hard to cover these great receivers. They have such great body control, and they can fake you out. In this case, as you described, got there before the ball got to the receiver. Penalty flag had to come out. Now this throw caught left side. The 20, Devontae Parker. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Devontae Parker with another touchdown, number 24 on the year. The offense set to take the field here as they have the football in the final minute of this first quarter. Back to throw. Going right side here, and that's complete. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. A well-executed 22-yard gain. Quarterbacks love slant routes because the receivers are breaking right into their line of vision. And receivers love them as well because they're getting the ball on the move and able to catch it and try and get upfield and gain additional yardage. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. They'll set up a throw. And that is caught on the right sideline but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far at second down. These two teams all tied after one. Second and 10 now from about the 32. They run the counter. Drake. He's got a first down and much more inside the 20. And finally wrestled down at the 8-yard line. Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 and a first. At this stage of the game, the run pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of the yardage has come through the air. But in a sense, that just sets things up for big runs like that because the defense might be a little bit off balance. they pick up another first down with that run. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Devontae Parker was the intended receiver, but it'll be second and goal. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line, second and goal. Now Drake. Give him right around four on the carry. We'll see if they want to keep pounding here on third and goal. Third and goal, it's Drake. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. Four yards, that gets him close to the goal line, but it also brings up a fourth and goal. Well, let's see what they do. They're knocking on the door here in the second quarter. And you know what you look at on your play sheet? Your two-point conversion plays. Because you've drawn up a number of them in today's football. You don't just have one or two for the game. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. They'll run on first down. It's Drake. He'll have a first down past the 40. The 40. The 30. 10. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Kenyon Drake, his 21st touchdown of the season as his guys are able to regain the lead. And with that carry, he's already over 100 yards here in the first half. And, partner, you know exactly what he's saying to his teammates right now, right? Especially... So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. On first down, Drake. He finds an opening past the 40. He's got the lane. There he goes. 
And he will take it in for a Dolphins touchdown. Kenyon Drake, touchdown number 20. So this offense will head back out there already in excellent field position ready, thanks to the interception. They're going to look to throw. And Stills has got it. Touchdown, Miami. Kenny Stills, his 19th touchdown now on the season. And the Dolphins are able to extend that advantage. Brandon, my man, just one sentence for that one. Clinic. And that's what they did. So this offense will head back out there already in excellent field position thanks to the interception. He'll drop to throw. That's going to be caught. 19 yards on the pickup there, and now they'll have it first and goal. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right. And he's going to bowl his way into the end zone for the Dolphins score. It's their quarterback. With a little over two minutes to play in the second quarter, the offense gets ready to take over. 26 months. Watch the screen. Pass. Get it. He'll look to throw. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. A reminder coming up just a few minutes from now. We'll send you to Jonathan Coachman and our crew in Orlando. Coach will have a look back at some of the stats and scores from yesterday's action. That one will be incomplete. He caught it but could not stay in bounds for the long connection. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. They'll look to throw. He gets it into the arms of Parker. Complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 18 big yards on that one, and a Miami first. I think it all came together there. In breaking route, drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. And supreme confidence in the kicker turns to supreme failure. As that is obviously no good. And this score will stay right where it is. Well, partner, this is where I need the color commentator. I'm not sure what to say about that one. Yeah, you and me both, my man. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Here we go, here we go. 15 run. 15 run. You got nothing. Let go. They'll set up to throw, but leaving the pressure right. Now he'll let it go deep right. And got his man complete. A big pickup of 38. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Going deep here for Stitt. And this is caught inside the five. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. Got it. This clearly the final play of the half, but no field goal attempt. They're going for it with three seconds remaining. And this will result in him losing yardage back to the three. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath as we'll head down to Orlando. That's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. We'll get back to you and Charles in a minute. But first, time to give the folks at home a look at what's going on around the NFL. We'll get started over at Mercedes-Benz Stadium in downtown Atlanta, where it was the Falcons who were able to pick up the victory at home. Matt Ryan. A strong performance there, over 300 yards passing with three touchdowns 
in the victory. Next, we head off to check out another game. And they were winners in that one over the visiting Carolina Panthers. Jimmy Garoppolo, strong in the victory, as his guys looked better than a team that had won just one game coming in. Lastly, let's head up to the Twin Cities to check in on the Vikings at home in Minneapolis. And they were winners in their ball game as they beat the visiting Washington Redskins. Kirk Cousins, a strong performance there, over 300 yards passing with three touchdowns in the victory. Meanwhile, in our game, no shortage of offense as each team has been able to move the ball effectively. Will the defenses show up in the second half? To find out, we give it back to our commentator, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. So now this offense will take over, and they will have the football at their own 20-yard line. Right there in the 55. a good way to kick off a drive complete over the middle and he's brought down after a very nice game give him 30 yards there just more of the same there he's got it hit the 15 and they're going to be set up down around the 15 yard line it's a gain of 35 from the red zone now they'll look to throw what a game it's been for this duo they remind me of a good comedy team they know how to play off of each other so well no matter how one rips the other's right there to pick them up and they are shredding them in this ball game so now second and ten after the incompletion on first down and it's caught and he'll be taken down at the two-yard line it's a first down and he's also over 190 receiving yards now what a game I think a lot of people ask the same question all the time. Why do we see so many slants in the red zone? Well, the windows are tighter. Everything's more condensed. It has to be quicker. And you've got to deliver the ball. And he is in. Touchdown, Miami. It's their corner. Both offenses have been clicking in this with a lot of points on the board. We'll see if that trend continues. They'll run on first down. It's Drake. And now look at him go. 30, 10, and all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Kenyon Drake with touchdown number 23 here on the year. And the Dolphins are able to extend that advantage. But go ahead and give him the hat trick. He's been in the end zone now three times. You, you toss your fedora. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. On first down, Drake. And some space here. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 18 big yards on that one. And a Miami first. They'll run with Drake. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And they'll get this. well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. 
And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Back to back good plays have him on the move on first down. Flush to his right. He'll try and run it. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30 yard line. And now they're in the hurry up. Second and three. They'll tussle for it, and this is going to be caught. Ready? 60 or 55. Don't get nervous. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. They're still throwing the football here, and obviously the incompletion stops the clock. That's a bad thing. It feels to me like they're just keeping them honest on defense because you know they're going to stack the line of scrimmage and try and stop any type of a running play. Short little passes may work in exchange of running plays. Keep the clock moving, keep them moving. Yeah, I guess you're right. If they can get some first downs, just as good as running the football. That is caught at the seven. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. His huge night, it just continues as he's now north of 200 yards. And Stills has got it. Touchdown, Miami. Kenny Stills. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Now back to throw. This one into the hands of the running back, Balage. They can't tackle him. And he will take it in for a Dolphins touchdown. Kalen Balage, his fourth touchdown on the year. As he... So now this offense will take over, and they will have the football at their own 20-yard line. Back to throw here. And this is caught. It's Parker. And he works free. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That'll go as a pickup of 32 on the catch and run. They'll look to throw now on first down. And this is Parker, complete. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. So now third and ten, a big play to start the drive, but nothing since. They'll look to throw. And he can't quite pick it. No interception so far. That probably should have been their first. But at least it's fourth down. They don't get the hook up there, but you really have to marvel at how precise he's been throwing the football these last couple weeks. Oh, that's a perfect word for it, precise. Because if you're at 70% or better two weeks in a row, you have a job as long as you want one in this league, won't you? I mean, Les Faze is not just West Coast offense either. He's putting the ball downfield as well. So you had to figure that sooner or later someone was going to top Matt Prater's record of 64. And officially, this one will go in the record books. And So now this offense will take over, and they will have the football at their own 20-yard line. That one looks like his throw here. Oh, a battle for it here, and this will be caught. A good pick up there, 26 yards. They'll look to throw here on first down. That's caught inside the 20. 36 yards on the play. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now. And, for, and this will be caught. And the carnage continues. It's another touchdown. And for them, this train, it just keeps rolling, doesn't it? Well on their way to...
Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So for Miami, their winning ways continue as they get it up to 7-0. And they will head back home next week. Meanwhile, for Pittsburgh... to check up on myself some days i just have to check up on myself i'm so icy got that gg on my belt thank the lord for my people in my hell lost a lot but i came out with no else thank the lord for my people in my hell start your week by installing your game plan tripping because i got another cell he's still by me by a cell i could get it by myself i could get it by myself I'ma get it by myself, yeah. Feel like ginger from casino Aces up my sleeve, though Right before I leave I said, like I'm Dino I think I'm part Italian When it on Gino Smells like the medallion The skin on cappuccino I don't kiss and tell Keep your distance from myself And a genie with the snails In a five-star hotel And I wish you well When they wish for me to fail I might donate petty bills They can't get it by they sell That's why you treat my friend good But not too good I give them too much Then they don't need me yeah, I just ran to check up on myself. Some days I just have to check up on myself. I'm so icy, got that GG on my belt. Thank the Lord for my people in my hell. Lost a lot, but I came out with no L's. Thank the Lord for my people in my hell. Been a been a fun as hell from my head down to my nails. My man tripping cause I got another cell. He still buy me why I sell. I could get it by myself. These I could get it by myself. By myself, these I could get it by myself. I'ma get it by myself. Yeah. I'ma get it either way. I don't even gotta say what I want when I want. They just put it on my plate. I could get it right away. Take you through my day to day. Wake and pray. Make that play. Get some good at my place. There's some on the way. Cause my bros on the way. I got stones on my gold. I got loads in my safe. Had a seven figure summer, so I'm putting on some weight. Set up getting thick, so I put it on display. Yeah, I just ran to check up on myself. Some days I just have to check up on myself. I'm so icy, got that GG on my belt. Thank the Lord for my people in my hell. Lost a lot, but I came out with no L's. Thank the Lord for my people in my hell. Then I find his hell from my head down to my nails. My man tripping, cause I got another cell. He still buy me why I sell. I could by myself I could I could I could get it by myself these I could get it by myself I'ma get it by myself yeah